seasons. Bob Strum served as the general manager, bringing world-class athletes to the Valley and helping build the foundation for professional hockey here in Las Vegas. Bob has spent over 30 years in hockey at the highest levels, but he will always be best club in Vegas for unleashing the thunder. Well, it's Las Vegas Thunder Night here at the Silver Knights game. We're with Pokey Reddick and uh, Pokey. You know, we'll talk about uh, coming to play with the Thunder and just your experience with that and and your taste of playing hockey here. When I came here, I think it was in '91. I was trying to get traded from Edmonton back in the day. Um, coming to the desert was kind of a different or unique place. Coming to play hockey in flip flops and uh, good weather, great fans, end up making it my home. Um, that probably wouldn't change a thing, you know, but it worked out really good. Like I said, playing here back then, it was called the IHL, so it was a pretty good lake, and we were the first professional team that they had in the city, so it, you know, it worked out really good. And the hockey that was play, played it there in that time, because from what I understand, I was pretty young. I don't remember too well, but but it was pretty it was pretty physical and it was pretty in, intense at times, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, a little different than the game did it. This the game today is more skill, finesse. Ours was a little rougher, but different era, different times. It seemed like the fans liked a little more of the fisty cup type stuff, but uh, otherwise, it, you know, it's just like hockey. We just played, we had skilled guys, we had a little bit more tougher guys, but uh, you know, everybody likes to see the odd little, we're going to call them uh, fisty cups kind of thing, but uh, you know, it got the fans going and it was kind of neat sitting there watching a little bit. Uh, but it was good, it was really good. What were the crowds like? I heard those were pretty intense too at the Thomas and Mac. There over what 12, 13, 14,000. What was that like? Yeah, that was really good. It was actually unique because uh, we didn't know we were playing at Thomas and Mac till uh, actually till I showed up. I didn't know where you know what it was. I heard about UNLV basketball because they were kind of big in the day, and we were playing out of their facility, and we were packing it, and you know it's it's pretty loud. Fans, like I said, the fans were great to us the whole time. That's why a lot of us ended up making this our home. Um, we've been here for 25 years and it's, it's still awesome. We come out and support our youth kids as we can and then the pro teams also. So it turned out really good. Yeah, you guys were kind of like the pioneers of hockey here and now you look at today, you, of course we had the ECHL team for a while and then of course we have now NHL and the American Hockey League. So how does that feel that you guys were kind of like the first ones to kind of really get hockey going? And as you mentioned, youth hockey is big here now too. All that's going to come to you now as you look at 2023. Yeah, no, we had our part, and now it's the younger generation picks up, and it seems like there's more opportunity for kids because there's actually more rinks. And again, whenever you got the NHL behind you, it actually drives it a little bit more. That's why they got to keep opening up rinks because, again, boys and girls still want to play this game, and um, the more they get, you know, the more they can get out and see what's going on, the more they want to try it, and that's what the whole goal is for the youth to get out and try something, some different sports to see if you like it because you don't know what you like until you try it. Yeah, and, and, and how cool is it for the, the Sanderson Silver Knights organization to, to honor the Thunder here tonight? And of course, last year, the Golden Knights using kind of the Thunder as part of their uh, reverse retro jerseys. And as I said, the, the Silver Knights doing this Thunder Night, paying homage to, to those days. Yeah, it's really good. Anytime you can uh, you know give recognition to somebody who's been there before you, it's always nice. Uh, I think uh, one year we come in, I spun the horn thing, whatever that thing is called. But, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's always nice that they appreciate that we were here and we still live here. So we come out and support both programs, our NHL, Burton, and then the AHL. So for us, it's, uh, it, it's a good way for them to give back and it's a good way to us to be a part of it. 
you mentioned, you live here and some of the other people that were on that team live here. So maybe just fill people maybe on what, what you are doing today, uh, kind of staying in the hockey world or what otherwise. What are you, what, what are you well, right now I'm a, a goalie consultant for a team in Dryden, Ontario, which is not here. But I did do a lot of youth programs here. I actually coached Gage Quinney U14, 16s, and 18s. So I put my time in in this youth hockey part of it because I had boys who played in the program and some of my friends and stuff like that. So um, we did a lot. And, uh, you know, one of our products is Gage Quinney on the ice tonight. So it's always good to see somebody that I actually grew up or he actually grew up with because I played with his father. So. It's actually kind of nice. I'm glad you brought up Gage Quinney because uh, obviously his father Ken Quinney was was a big staple with the Thunder, and of course now Gage, of course, gets to play here in in Las Vegas and in Henderson. So it was almost appropriate that he would get a goal tonight, wasn't it? Wouldn't other wouldn't be like otherwise, right? So it's actually worked out really good. Uh, wife was here with me tonight, and then she goes, "I think Gage scored. I think awesome." So you know, that's actually really good. Really good. Any other memories or thoughts you want to share about the Thunder or hockey now? Just it's, it's just overall. No, I think it's going to go in the right direction. They got the right people in the youth part growing. That you know, hockey. The old scenario, hockey should be for anybody and everybody. You know, so I think it's it's heading in a good spot. Now they're I think they're getting ready to try to open up a couple more sheets somewhere else. So we know it's growing and that's you know that's all you can ask for is an opportunity for some of these kids to get an opportunity to play because we know how the valley is growing and so is the programs in the valley right